Look at my eyebrows. <laughs> so when you get them done, like they, the second time we get them done, like they'll last like over a year, but I just, I just wanted to see her and I'm really picky. I can't believe how great. Maybe to eat or home or something like that. <laughs> I have a little bit of after. <laughs> this looks like a mouth. I have a little bit of aftercare. Am I allowed to take this off? <laughs> I have a little bit of aftercare to show you too. So I'll show. Um, I just have to wipe them with a little wet pad every um, hour. This is just old fashioned nair. I leave this on for 10 minutes. <laughs> uh, you just look so much cleaner during, no, just, just get rid of the moustache and the uni. I just think it looks so much cleaner when you get rid of this hair. And I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use an eyebrow razor. Just shave my face. I think I've done this on a video before, but I like to do this once a week. Right here I get some hair between my eyebrow and my hairline. Oops, took a little bit a lot off. Don't use a lot of pressure. I've used too much pressure before when doing this and it's no good. I don't recommend the eyebrow razor on anything more than peach fuzz. Like if you have thick, substantial hair, I wouldn't recommend doing this because then you'll just get stubble. So like my sideburns are very thick. I don't, I've used this on my sideburns before and then I just look like a dude with like man stubble. Wait, are you supposed to wear these this low? Cause this makes my butt look more bigger. <laughs> I have no butt. Bodies are weird. This is more flattering on the back. But like, who walks around like this in their house? If you have a little booty, obviously lower rise suits you better. But like, I think I'm just gonna wear them like this. I don't know, whatever. So yeah, oh, my skin is so much smoother. This will be fun to put makeup on. I really gotta get started on this day. So, so far I do have a couple things up. Should I turn that light on? I'm not sure, but this is the cabinet that was in my closet before. I just moved it to my kitchen and I put some cutesy little things up here. Uh, I definitely will add more. These are just new items that I have. I found this to be like the, what's the word? Kitschy, campy kind of stuff. Like, you know, those kid kind of decor. I, just, I like that stuff. It's really cute. Cause I like the more glam stuff on my mantle, so. First of all, this, I know that this is not centered, but I need this to cover my, there's an outlet. And if I center this, then the outlet shows and it's not cute. And then this is centered, so I'll move that nail. Um, here's what I will be decorating. This is my mantle, so I would like to put more glam decor here. Obviously get rid of the pineapple because it's not fall. And then um, I might put things here. I'm not sure yet. I might decorate this, but I kind of like how it's plain, looks clean. So I could go grab the stuff now, but I think I'm going to get ready for the day first because I do want 
to go to Bath and Body Works to get more candles. This is from last year. Mm, vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. My favorite kind of scents are like sweet. Like I love anything with marshmallow is really nice. And like of course fall stuff. So pumpkin and marshmallow, um, vanilla and cinnamon, like that kind of stuff. I love it. So I should probably, I should probably put makeup on now. Cause it's fun. Okay, from the shed, we have the tote of Halloween. Have I already purchased another apron for Halloween? Yes. Can I have two? Sure. The laundry's still going, so I'll wait for a minute. But... These are all my spooky accoutrements and I'm going to put them all around and I, I'm going to keep with the theme, put the kitschy stuff up top, glam stuff on the mantle, and then I do put some things in the kitchen, but I'll show you. Super random outfit of the day photos because I think I look like a witch. Isn't that ideal? <laughs> All the rage for fashion week. So I just got back from the mall and got some fall things and then some random things. Okay, so originally I was just planning on getting candles and banding <laughs> candles and intimates. Um, but I actually got things I can share with you and candles. So Here's the receipt. So my favorite scent soap, sorry, my dog's eating dinner. So my favorite scent soap is Black Cherry Merlot. So I got just a bunch of these guys. These are the foaming ones. And then a couple gel. Oh, these gel. Foaming ones and gel. So they didn't have pumpkin spice latte in three wicks, so I got a couple of these ones. And then vanilla pumpkin marshmallow is my favorite scent of a candle. And then this candle holder thing. Has three wick candles. Vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, seriously my favorite scent. Pumpkin cupcake, caramel pumpkin swirl, and then I think the rest are just doubles. Yeah, vanilla pumpkin. And yeah. So that is going to make my house smell like fall. I love that. And then at Victoria's Secret, I was going to get intimates, but they had 70% off of their pajamas. And I've always, always, always wanted these pajamas. So I have. Pajamas in size medium and large. These are like my dream ones. They actually don't even look like the ones that I had before. The ones I had before were even cuter, I think, because they didn't have a V on it. This looks like I'm wearing my sister's pajamas or something, but how cute is this? Yeah, this is an extra large. So you could like wear this by itself or with the pajama pants cute and then leopard so i'm really excited about both of these and okay so they're 89 dollars i got this pair they told me it was 60 and then she was like wait it's supposed to be 70 percent off and even i know that that's not how math works so she charged me 23 or whatever 6 26 23 20 something and then this was 14 dollars for my favorite pajamas so 
who cares what size they are they fit this isn't the best lighting either but it's a little bit better um yeah i have no lipstick on we still wear masks but isn't that cool my makeup kind of stayed no it looks super blotchy <laughs> okay so there's a reason i'm wearing black and it's not because i wear black every day i regret to inform you that i made a purchase at nordstrom yesterday and i'm making a return today because okay so i'll just tell you so I have a list of purses that I want to own. The Pachette Matisse is one of them, and so far the only one that I've acquired. And so, I don't want a million purses. I don't want to keep up with trends on purses. I don't want a million purses. I just have a few purses that I want. So I definitely, I think, I think that I want the Givenchy Antigona bag. I don't know which size yet. And then I really like the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour in gray. But okay, so they have it on Farfetch in gray. They have the small and the baby, I think. Small or nano, I don't remember. But at Nordstrom, they had the Sac de Jour in size small and it was black with silver hardware. So I purchased it on an impulse. And the more I think about it, I just don't really want it. Like, I just don't want it. I don't know. Like, it's a beautiful bag and there's nothing wrong with it. And it's the last one in the country at Nordstrom. But I don't want it. Also, I don't want to have a bag on credit. That really bothers me to have. And um, I, I'm turning 30 this year. So I'll just tell you. I always say I'll just tell you. But I'm turning 30 this year. And... I have a number in mind of where I want my savings to be before I spend on like unnecessary luxury items and I'm not there. So I'm going to return this bag. Like if I look into this bag, even if I change my mind one day and I want the black one, you can find it on a different website and it doesn't have to be Nordstrom and it definitely it just I think it would feel better if it was not on credit I think it would feel better if my savings were um, where I want them to be um, my number my budget I guess my my minimum for savings in my 20s is one thing but I don't know in my 30s I want it to be double that to be to have in savings I don't know it's just a personal opinion of mine and just like the way that the world was this year you know like I'm very lucky I've not gone through any furlough or anything like that I have a job I have a job I'm working really really lucky but just in case anything like that were to happen I want to be more than prepared um, and like the shutdown was the shutdown was for months, so I just want to be really prepared. I don't need this extravagant item, but I'll just show you what it is. Here she is. If I have a black bag, I really want the Antigona bag. And if I want a sac de jour, I want the gray one. Am I crazy for getting rid of this? Well, I was crazy for buying it, so yeah. This isn't the most fun thing I've ever done in my life is get rid of a beautiful bag, but I'm just not where I want to be. Like I'm trying to be responsible. I'm trying to be a responsible adult and I want to have my finances in a better place. It's a decision that I've made and put into the universe that I have a minimum that I'd like in my savings. And I'm not on the market for a bag. I'm more proud that I can make grown-up decisions than anything when I bought the bag. I convinced myself by saying like, no, you'd still, you could buy this on your Nordstrom card and then pay it off and then still have some savings, like your old minimum of savings that you wanted, but no, I want more savings. I have to be a lot more careful. This world is a like crazy. And I kind of had like a YOLO moment, I'm like, well, you never know. The world could end and you'd never get your bag, but okay, if the world ends, like who cares about a bag? So I'm just gonna go return this now. And I should have filmed this with lipstick on, 